Hello everybody and welcome to hole number 7, a par 4 of the Maple Bay, playing from 2nd tee which is pro and expert division here in Golf Clash the game. Video sponsored by Golf Clash and play them and you make sure you do subscribe to the channel and also visit golfclashtommy.com for more Golf Clash related content for free. Last but not least get the ultimate tournament guides on patreon.com slash golfclashtommy, link directly in the description down below. So let's take a look at hole number seven and here we do have some headwind and we will be applying the club that has the most power using then six bars of top spin, three bars of side spin to the left. Can you play with anything else than Apocalypse level five plus? Yes, you can play with lower level Apoc, uh, extra miles, Thor's hammer. But for the display here in the video, I'm using Apocalypse level six. Maximum distance plus 10 is what I'm using here and once that is done, we will be applying curl to the left. In this case, I'm using three quarters of the ball outside the adjustment ring to the left and then I do hit perfect. And the ball is getting over and we eventually then find ourselves up on the fairway from 345 yards. 345 yards we are going to play very close to medium distance of our club here i'm using side spin to the right to prevent ourselves from adjusting down into the bunker when we do have this type of wind and we do have ball guideline to the hole and as you will see here now we are going to play with pulling over the bullseye method i'm adjusting 3.6 rings uh, for 9.1 miles per hour and then the last thing we're gonna have to do is to hit perfect. Bounces nicely on the fairway and we get this one to be uh, a little bit right of pin but uh, completely into the hole and a nice eagle here on hole number four. And we will look into what we can do here for hole number seven, not hole, no, hole number four that I just said. But we're gonna look into right now what we can do in tailwind here on hole seven. Okay, so for the more aggressive approach here in hole number seven, you will see me go into the bunker just before the fairway at the top there, but I will explain how I want us to attack this one. Stretch out to max, have the bullseye just by the cutoff cut between the rough and the fairway. Then release, you adjust maximum distance plus 10. You push up to max. We will apply two bars of side spin to the left, and I'm using half a bar of top spin here, but I would like you to play with one and a half bar top spin when we do have wind that is nine and a half miles per hour when it is northwest wind. If we would be having um, a more straight tailwind here, I would definitely recommend to keep the half a bar of top spin because then we would most definitely reach over. If we have a higher wind as well, coming up to 11, 12 miles per hour, half a bar of top spin would be good there as well. And if we obviously um again now we have low wind so we're gonna have to add a little bit more the plan is obviously to have the ball to bounce first on the first fairway over the water and rough and sand and get the ball to green or to the green area obviously there is risk with a bad great right on the drive to get into the bunker on the on the right by the green and stuff so you're gonna have to be prepared uh, from uh, prepared to play from the hazard from time to time but if we do have tailwind it is superior uh, the way of lay up on this hole here on hole and number seven video here is sponsored by gold clash and play demic thank you so much for watching and good luck in your gold clash game